Hello, Noel. Um, gosh, strange times we're having at the moment. Certainly are, certainly are, yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's very frustrating for us having, having got this incredible lineup sorted out for our fourth year of Garden Masterclass. And, uh, and it's just, I don't know, the last couple of weeks have been a bit tricky trying to think about rescheduling things. Yeah, we're sort of moving chronologically through the year, trying to sort of push everything on to September, October, hoping that things will return to some level of normality by then. And people are being very un un understanding. Um, yeah. And uh, no, hopefully we'll be able to, to reschedule most of, most of our events because we had a good yeah, program. Yeah. Uh, and I think, I think, you know, when life returns back to normal, because it will, it will return back to normal, we've got to believe in that, um, everybody's going to be desperate for nice things to do. And so yes. hopefully um, we'll be providing some of that. So I thought this would be a, an opportunity for us to, um, to sort of go over a bit about what, we, uh, what we're, we're about as, as Garden Masterclass. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think, you know, it, it's, well, now we're in our fourth year. It's looking back to why we, why we started this and how we started. I can't believe it's four years ago to start with. I can't. I can't. No, it's amazing how time flies. Yeah. But I know, I mean, we worked together on the Gardens Illustrated festivals and helped them with the programming of that. And it was a sort of an idea that came out of that, wasn't it? Yes, yes. And I think we, we both have backgrounds in education. Um, and uh, you know, I certainly felt that the quality of, of education in horticulture was actually pretty poor, that people would come along and lecture, and uh, the, the, they would just lecture until the cows come home. And, and, and people have a limited concentration span, and it's so important that we, I thought we, we needed some other way of, 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 of trying to impart uh, in, information and, and skills. Yeah, and, and I think another thing that was very important to us at the very beginning and still is, is the fact that our events are throughout the whole of the British Isles and Southern Ireland. And then last year we ventured across the channel into Europe. Yes. And I think that the idea that often in the UK so much is South centric and South East centric yes. um, that we, you know, and we, we've always had such an amazing reception for all of the events that we've held further afield Yorkshire and uh, you know Cumbria and Scotland and you know and Wales you know everybody's so thrilled that we're bothering to do something that's outside the M25. <laughs> well, uh, uh, absolutely and I think there's a slight tendency for us to be somewhat southwest orientated um, which is partly a reflection I think of the, the, the number of good venues because in putting these yeah. together we've got to think about the, the, the speaker and the venue, and the, the venues are perhaps the most difficult to, to put together. Uh, but people, I'm just always surprised by how far people will will travel. Definitely, definitely. Uh, uh, finding good venues in in, in, in the north of England, uh, yes, we do we do have them. Uh, populations that tend to be sparser, but they've they've been successful, and it's something that regional spread is something we really want to push. And I think this year we started to put together a program for for Holland. Uh, because I, I've had a lot of discussions with, particularly with garden designers over the last year throughout the, the Netherlands, and I was really surprised by how little opportunities there were for professional development. And uh, uh, we've been getting really good uh, ticket sales on, on 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 that too. Yeah, and and I think uh, you know, as we as we both know, we're now getting you know venues and gardens and and places actually approaching us and saying, would you please come and hold a garden masterclass here and that's really amazing um so you know i think we're in a, we're in a fortunate position it, it is frustrating what's happening in the world but but when you put this into the grand picture you know i think we have to be realistic and 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 look at you know how, how it's affecting people's lives and that's tragic but you know we we have to keep going and and i think we've we've been doing that by postponing as much as we can and and hoping that by mid-summer and autumn we'll be on an even keel again um, um, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, and uh, I mean, I think we've, um, we, we, we've we've tried all sorts of things. And I think one of the things we do manage to get right is, is this kind of borderline between design and, and horticulture. Yes, uh, definitely. Who don't necessarily mesh together as much as as, as as people outside the business think they they do. I mean, God, yeah, yeah. Uh, perhaps don't have the plant knowledge and want to earn it and it will gain it and, and, and people who've got horticultural skills but want to know more about putting plants together 
Absolutely. And I think this venturing further afield, I mean, our first adventure in central or, or in mainland Europe was, was with Olivia Felipe and the Bassons last spring. And that was such fun. And, uh, and I think a lot of people saw and felt that they'd missed out. And, and so, you know, this year, I mean, that event has sold out. Um, our, our event with Cassian and Bettina in Germany um, has sold out. And, and it's, it's interesting that those events, which are quite sort of um, ambitious, really, for us, um, have, have, are, are the first ones to sell out which is brilliant you know yeah, it's absolutely yeah. brilliant um and of course dan's events as well you know they're always incredibly popular um and i'm you know really really fingers crossed that we will we'll make that happen at lowther this year if if we can you know if not we'll hopefully try and postpone it to a later date yes 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 and, and I, I think lo looking into the future i'd like to do more more uh more garden visits where we're at we've actually got an interesting garden or, or, or landscape which people can be talked through uh, in, a, in a quite a kind of a methodical way, not just the garden owner sort of thing, oh, we did this badly before this, it was that. Yeah. But, but actually trying to explain plant combinations, why they work, or indeed the situations where they, where they might not work, which the kind of thing that Nigel Dunnett has been did at Trenton last year. I think That's right. And, and yeah. I mean, and actually our hand is being forced in this year because of the, the situation in the world of having to do things online. I mean, this conversation to start with. And I mean, we were thinking about starting to film some of our events this year. And I know that yes. a lot of people have contacted us from far afield, Australia, New Zealand, the States saying, we want a bit of Garden Masterclass. How can we access you? And I know, you know, we do want to offer that. And, and it's just, you know, we, we will get there, but it's, but it's, um, it's just a time factor. And we had planned and hopefully still will be able to do some filming mm -hmm. this year yeah. so that people can uh, sample a bit of Garden Masterclass from wherever they are in the world. Yes, that, that global reach is, is so important. And I, I remember when, um, when Tim Richardson and I did those uh, events at the Garden Museum a few years yeah. ago, uh, mm -hmm. the feedback we got from where the podcasts went was, was quite incredible. I mean, all those people in South America, for instance. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's true. And I, and I guess, I suppose, again, looking at the positive side of the situation at the moment is that a lot more is being done online. People are connecting online. And my goodness me, if we hadn't got that facility, mm -hmm. uh, it would be a very, very grim time or a grimmer yeah. time than it is at the moment. So I think a lot of businesses, not just ours, will will benefit and develop. And our hand, like I say, our hand is being forced into getting uh, getting out and making contact with people. So you know that's that's probably something we you know we wouldn't have done as quickly. But maybe that's an advantage, one advantage we can pull from this horrid mess at the moment. Yes, 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 yeah. So um, any what other ideas have you had for for future? Well, I, I, I've got some ideas about going much further afield and I don't know if I want to chat about them yet because it, that might be too ambitious, but I've had some, some, some conversations with somebody on the other side of the world about doing an event further afield and, and I think, um, you know, just finding amazing venues. I think, I think what, what is good about Garden Masterclass really, blowing our own trumpet of course, is the fact that we're combining interesting venues that are not often accessible sometimes they're private sometimes they're only open on high days and holidays um the top people in the industry and and a good subject matter are really good and like you said before we both come from an educational background so i think that all of that into the mix you know so trying to to, to expand that and and finding places where we can bring that together and of course different speakers in different places um it's a win-win because people might want to visit certain gardens that they've they've always longed to go and see but now they've got even more of an incentive yes. um something we tried to do this year which we've been successful at but let's see how the program pans out is to, is to group events together so that if people are traveling to the north of england or yeah. we yeah. had somebody coming over from maine to do our one of our courses in ireland um that they can do a two or three events in in a week which is which makes uh you know financially more sense and make and a meeting. make a meeting yeah. yeah yeah and cuts down on travel as well mm -hmm. so um i think you know that something i think is is, is really good idea that we've we've pushed yes. pushed events into regions a bit yes. yeah yes so um can you tell me a bit more about your educational background you you were director 
at um, at KLC. The... Yes, I mean, I I did a degree at um, at, at uh, Middlesex University in Capel Manor. Um, it was the first degree in garden design uh, in Europe at the time. And and as soon as I uh, finished my degree, I started teaching for Middlesex on the degree program, and I was also teaching for Capel Manor as well. I did a bit of teaching at Meristwood and uh, also um, moving down here to West Sussex, I soon got involved with the wonderful West Dean. And so I've always combined teaching and lecturing with um, designing. Um, and as you said, I was director of garden design at KLC for um, 18 years, actually, yeah. um, and, and developed the course there for them. Mm -hmm. um, but one one of my sort of my, my very strong belief is that you cannot be a garden designer without knowing about gardening and plants yes. and 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 you know uh, about the, how a plant is and how it's formed and how it grows i think it's impossible to to mm. be a, a good garden designer without that knowledge and so i've always felt that it's incredibly important to combine these two um uh, things together um, yeah, yeah. and and involve design with horticulture it's so vital yes 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 absolutely yeah and so and so places like west dean great dixter i teach at great dixter now um you know of course they are amazing um excellent places of of, of horticulture you know supreme places of horticultural excellence um and and so people will come there to enjoy that but also to learn yeah. um and i think it's important and for me um I also think being involved in education keeps you on your toes and makes you, I hope, a better designer or, or a better practitioner, because I think you really do need to sharpen your, your knowledge. Um, it's also that being, being forced to reflect on practice, that, that uh, exactly. you know, the students, you know, there's usually one of them who is very good at asking the awkward question. Uh, yes. And, you know, with, with what I do very much, the, these, these workshops about plants, I mean, that we are dealing so often with, kind of levels of ambiguity or things that aren't quite clear or quite yes yeah and yeah. I think also that's kind of you've touched on that is the fact that people people can ask questions and the thing about our garden master class is that the groups are small they're up to about 30 people maximum and so when you've got people like Nigel Dunnett and James Hitchmo and Dan Pearson and you are you know in a small group you're much more inclined to feel comfortable about asking them questions which you wouldn't have that opportunity if you were at a huge lecture theatre with 700 people mm -hmm. um, and I think think being you know being in a smaller group um sharing knowledge um and exchanging knowledge is vital really yes 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 so um well should we call it a day on this little yes i think so i've got i've got a ref my studio at the moment is part gla glass house part um, design studio i've got a lot of plant refugees that i'm rehoming um through this crisis um and so yes i'm 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 learning the nursery trade now um which i never thought i'd get around to doing but i'm really enjoying it good good great okay well we'll, we'll follow up hopefully in the next few days with, with another uh, one of these um I suppose, what do we call it? Vlogs? Vlogs or vlogs? I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> okay. Thanks. All right, Noel. Thanks, Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Thanks, Bye.